Fortunately, it looks like a Tesla short squeeze could be coming here over the next couple of weeks. Why do I say unfortunately? Well, let me just put this as open and honest as I possibly can. I want to be able to buy as many shares of Tesla as possible. I feel like we are right at the moment where FSD is evolving at such a pace Wall Street is not paying attention. The robo-taxi network is closer than it's ever been before, and when Tesla stock does rally maybe during this short squeeze event that I will talk about here in this video, it may never come back to the 160s or 170s. And that's problematic for me looking to invest a ton of money into Tesla at these lower prices. I would like the stock to stay as low as possible for as long as possible. But for anyone that has been buying the dip for many, many years now, including myself, that maybe wants to see Tesla stock go higher, I think you're going to be in for an upside surprise over the next couple of weeks, and I'll do my best to explain why here in this video. I think the writing is on the wall. With that said, I am neither a financial advisor or a financial planner. I'm not your family member. I'm not your dad, I'm not your brother, not your cousin, not your grandpa, not your uncle. None of that. Maybe that would be kind of crazy, but you shouldn't listen to me is really the bottom line. You should always take in different opinions, my opinions, the next guy, the next guy. Come to your own conclusions, what you think is going to happen. Now, I want to start with this delivery number and my expectations for that delivery number. But by the way, hit the like button as well as subscribe to the channel. Let's not forget that. Help push this video out to as many people as possible. So let's start with the delivery number, which will be coming out on April 2nd. That is going to be on what looks like Saturday. According to Bloomberg, their estimate for Tesla deliveries are about 460,000. Tesla is going to miss that number potentially a lot. Now, the IR compiled estimates, they should be coming out here soon, and they're expected to be around 430,000 deliveries. My estimate is about 445,000 deliveries, considering last year Tesla delivered almost 423,000 for Q1 2023. That would only be growth of like 4%, so it would not be spectacular by any means, but that would likely give Tesla a very positive reaction. In fact, Gary Black thinks as long as we get above the 423,000 number that we had last year, as long as we're even positive by a little bit, the markets will likely take that as favorable for Tesla. Because let's be honest, nobody is really expecting 460, 470,000 deliveries. Nobody. The estimates coming out from Morgan Stanley, JP Morgan, different analysts are like 420,000, 434,000 in that range. So that's probably closer to what the actual estimated delivery number is. With that said, Tesla stock being down almost 30% for Q1 has priced this in. It's not going to be a big shocker if the number misses expectations. So really, I expect Tesla stock will do well following the Q1 delivery number as long as you're above about 420,000 vehicles. Even if you're slightly negative, like let's say you come in at 420,000 vehicles and you're down year over year by two, 3,000 vehicles, not a big deal. But if Tesla comes in at like 390,000, 400,000, that's going to be a little bit more difficult to judge whether that's priced into Tesla stock or not. And I don't know, but I know a, you know, number less than 460,000 is definitely already priced into Tesla. And a good way of looking at just how negative people are on a particular stock, you can always look at the put to call ratio. The higher this blue line is, the more puts relative to calls that there there is, right? And you are at the highest put call ratio that you have been at since October of 2022. So even really since about mid-March, you've seen a lot more puts that have started to get bought on Tesla stock relative to calls. And I think there's been a lot of people that have been, I wouldn't say perma bearish on Tesla, but it, it almost feels like that over the last couple of months. People have just been so so bearish, even when you get good news, and I share good news with you guys all the time, people say, yeah, that's that's not even that good. Or yeah, Tesla stock's still going to fall. And of course, that's possible, but you have to come to reality at some point and say, 
Tesla is the worst performer in the S&P 500 year to date. What has actually changed from December to January to February to March? Tesla introduced V12 and specifically the 3.0 update and now 3.1. That's actually been really good. That's been a mind-blowing uh, change in FSD. Tesla has incrementally raised prices of the Model 3 long range in the U.S. and other select markets. Tesla did a temporary $1,000 price cut. They raised that back, and they raised prices another $1,000, or they're going to here on April 1st. And I believe on March 22nd, correct me if I'm wrong, you did see that price increase already go into effect in Europe. So you've actually gotten a lot more good news than bad news for 2024. Just everyone is, is, is kind of getting more bearish on the overall EV market. Not necessarily just Tesla, but EVs in general. Apparently, hybrids are the way of the future, and that doesn't make a lot of sense to me, personally. If I'm going to get an EV, I'm going to get an EV. If I'm going to get a gas vehicle, I'm going to get a gas vehicle. I don't really want both. So I'm not quite sure where the whole logic came from that hybrids are really the wave of the future. Not exactly sure where that came from, but I don't think that's true. General consensus is, from my opinion, people have just gotten way too fearful way 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 too fearful for no great reason of course demand's not going to be that great in in 2024 we're coming off of now two years of high interest rates but i don't think a lot of people consider maybe the cyber truck and the halo effect that it looks like that is starting to have you don't think that's going to add to tesla deliveries this year i mean look at the cyber truck all of this organic search trend activity that is rubbing off already to the model s model x model 3 and the model y literally every single vehicle in tesla's lineup is seeing the most search trend activity that you have seen since september of 2023 that's typically one of the best periods for automakers in general and you're back to those levels uh just briefly you were higher than this in the first week of october but beyond that i mean tesla has has the highest healthiest google trends that I've seen in a long time. So I guess that's the point. Investors are running with any little piece of bad news they can find. Demand slowing down here. Hybrids are 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 the way of the future and all these different things. But they're not paying attention to the bullish news, the good news that Tesla has been releasing in 2024. And I think that's why you could see a short squeeze. I think a lot of investors have gotten way off sides in their bearish tilt towards Tesla, even retail investors. And retail tends to be more bullish than hedge, than hedge funds and institutions. But I show this data all the time on stock twits. I think it's a pretty good barometer of showing you retail investors' interest in a particular stock and what the message volume looks like and what the sentiment looks like on a day-by-day -day basis. And you've been not that good for a while in Tesla. You haven't been extremely bullish in a long time. Uh, sometimes message volume goes into high, but normally it's like normal or low. The participation ratio has stayed at about 55, so that has been good. But even sentiment has been really, really bad recently. Even on days where Tesla stock does really well, like up to 3%, a lot of the time sentiment is right at about neutral. So that's just showing you on stock twits, retail investors are getting on here and they're not that bullish on any given day by day basis. And let's be honest, I think if you look at the comments section of this video or any of the other videos that have been put out recently, you'll see that just there's a lot of people that are bearish, which, yes, it makes sense to be a little bit more bearish or conservative in 2024 from a normalistic standpoint of looking at the company, right? Profitability has got destroyed over the past couple of years. Interest rates are very high. There's not a huge demand to go out and buy a new vehicle right now based on interest rates. There's a lot of typical reasons why you would want to be bearish on autos right now. So I do get it from that standpoint, but for Tesla to fall 30% in three months, I think that's a little egregious. Again, considering not all the news coming out for Tesla 
is bad. In fact, I would argue we've seen a lot more good news than bad news in 2024. We are no longer seeing price cuts. At least we haven't seen price cuts in a while here. And I think that's kind of a, a little bit of PTSD for some investors. Some investors are like, hey, we're, we're just going to get more price cuts. In fact, I think the opposite is true. I think Tesla continues to incrementally raise prices, especially if you start to see more demand for Tesla products via the halo effect or maybe just organic, uh, you know, people going out and buying a new vehicle. So I actually think a short squeeze like event for Tesla is coming here soon. And I don't believe it's based on anything that has to do with the broad markets. I'm not necessarily expecting a huge rally from here. I'm more so expecting a correction than anything. But I actually think earnings is likely to be the catalyst that sends Tesla stock up big time. Keep in mind the puts call ratio. People are piling into puts. Nobody really wants to buy calls right now on Tesla when in fact, maybe right now is actually a good time to buy calls on Tesla. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not a financial planner. So don't listen to that as any kind of advice because it's clearly not, but people have gotten way too bearish. Now there's one one thing specifically that I think gives you a massive short squeeze. It is Tesla taking the approach of focusing more on profitability. Let's think about this logically. Tesla's strategy in 2023 was cut prices, cut prices. We have to hit our full year delivery guidance or, you know, that's going to be bad. At the same time, it was bad because Tesla was cutting prices and eroding margins. Well, look at where we are now. Tesla's year over year delivery numbers, they're not going to look great. Okay. No matter what, they're not going to look pretty unless Tesla somehow sold a crap ton of vehicles that nobody knows about, which looks highly unlikely. They're not going to look great. Yet Tesla did not cut prices. Yet Tesla is actually raising prices. And I, I think it's pretty safe to say next quarter is probably not going to look as great as well. And really, the comps just get harder as, you know, 2023's quarters just got better and better over the next couple of quarters. Year over year, numbers are going to go negative. They are going to look negative, most likely. Now, maybe not, but most likely. So I think Tesla is going to take the, pro the approach of focusing more on profitability. And that is by far the best biggest catalyst that you could get for Tesla stock right now. If the Tesla team comes out and actually says that on the next earnings, which keep in mind earnings, they're not that far away. They're expected around April 17th, plus or minus a couple days, most likely. So if you if Tesla takes a, a focus on profiting more or uh, takes a focus on, you know, becoming more profitable, then that really lowers the valuation for Tesla. If Tesla can boost EPS, that's obviously good. And that's the reason why Tesla stock is not higher today is because they've had to sacrifice profitability to continue to sell unit volumes and continue to grow unit volumes. And I think those days are over. And I think Wall Street's gonna take that as very good news. Like, think about this logically. We already have gotten so much bad news. The stock has already fallen so much. What else can we hear on the earnings that is going to shock investors? That's going to be super bearish and cause the stock to sell off 10%. There's only one thing that I can think of, and that would be Elon and the Tesla team really coming out and saying price cuts are not over. Prices will go lower in the future. That's the only thing that I can sit here and think of that would be um, a shocker, which would be a, you know, bad news catalyst if Elon just came out and said that, but yet they're raising prices right now. So that would be just a kind of confusing situation. Like, why are you guys raising prices now, but you're going to cut them in the future? That just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. No, I'm expecting Elon and the Tesla team are going to come out and say, we don't plan on cutting prices anymore. We're going to take the approach of trying to be as profitable as possible. We sell what we sell. We're not going to, you know, cut prices to try to try to sell units. We're just not going to do that. We're going to focus more on profitability. And that I think is news that nobody's expecting besides me and maybe 
you guys select select individuals that would really catch the bears offsides it would catch them by surprise because tesla's profitability has been completely eroded uh over the past 12 months eps estimates for 2024 and 2025 are down over 50 percent and you know that's why tesla stock is down so much in 2024 and was down so much um towards the end of 2023 as well and just to be honest with you guys if that is what we get from the earnings call then I think uh, Tesla stock could probably rally 20% in a single day. Think about it like this as well. Tesla stock has fallen in between 9 and 10% for earnings in a row. It's like, how many times are you going to fall 10% after earnings? It almost becomes a custom to people that are like, just buy puts on Tesla on earnings. That's probably why you're seeing the put to call ratio that is starting to really skyrocket right now because four earnings in a row, you have been correct if you bought puts on Tesla. The fifth, could you be? Obviously, sure, Tesla could fall. That's always a possibility if they give us that, that bit of bad news that I think is really the only thing not priced into Tesla stock right now. But I mean, a fifth time, fall nine to 10%, I don't think so. I think you could actually get a large up move following this earnings. Now, I think it's also obvious there's going to be a lot of talks about FSD and what the future is starting to look like for that, more so than what you've seen on other earnings calls. That's for sure. If anything is thrown out there about a timeline for like a robo-taxi network or at least the launch of one, or the start of one in San Francisco or LA or whatever the market is, really doesn't matter. That could be a huge unforeseen catalyst, positive catalyst for Tesla stock. Now, the the large part of me is like, yeah, that that seems unlikely that Elon would would say maybe they launched that by the end of this year or by the end of 2025, you know, maybe alongside the next generation Tesla, the dubbed Model 2, $25,000 vehicle. You know, maybe that could also, you know, happen, but it doesn't stick out to me as a super high probability un un until I think uh, think about the last earnings call where Elon talked about shipping Optimus by the end of this year or small batches of Optimus robots by the end of this year. Anything's possible if they're talking about ship, sh uh, you know, shipping Optimus. Could you launch the RoboTaxi network? Of course. The biggest thing that really is, is stopping that at this point, besides just a couple things that, that need to be improved on FSD so just so far, is the liability. Who's liable? Obviously, if it's a RoboTaxi network, it, it would be Tesla. But how it, it, is, is that liability layered? right? Does Tesla have insurance for this? Will Tesla have to pay this out of pocket if, if there are any accidents? And, you know, what if someone were to get killed? Who's liable then? That's kind of the biggest workaround that Tesla needs to work on. But I don't think it's too unreasonable to launch the RoboTaxi network in a, you know, select couple of cities over the next 12 to 24 months. So maybe Elon and the Tesla team start to throw out you know, a little bit of forward-looking guidance in regards to FSD. That could also be a big upside catalyst as well. But of course, if we're talking about a potential short squeeze, well, I think you need to know what the short data looks like. And in fact, you are at the highest short interest for Tesla since May of 2023. And what happened in May of 2023? Well, I, uh, you know, Obviously, you 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 remember this period of time, January, February, Tesla stock at $100 per share. You kind of rallied into the end of February. You came down and to start the month of May, Tesla stock was about $150 per share or so. And the shorts just piled on short positions during this bounce. And then what happened? Well, Tesla stock proceeded to rally to about $300 per share. So this is not a concept theory. Last time you were this short in Tesla, Tesla stock rallied from 150 to 300. I think this time is a little bit more exciting because there's more bears now in Tesla than there was back in May of 2023. There's a lot more bears today than there was then. People were pretty, you know, bullish then. 
as a consensus kind of um, uh, gauge, right? Retail was definitely more bullish than hedge funds and institutions. More people were bullish than now. The bulls are bears <laughs> is what it feels like. Retail investors are are pretty bearish as well on Tesla. So I think given that, you really could be in for an upside surprise. Now, short interest is sitting at 3.71%, which doesn't sound like a lot, but on a stock as large as Tesla, that is huge. You have $18.04 billion currently uh, in short positions. Tesla is still one of the most heavily shorted stocks in the market, even though Tesla's stock itself has fallen a lot from $300 per share down to $175. Short sellers have just been adding to their short positions. So when you're this short and Tesla stock potentially could reverse, shorts are going to be looking at billions of dollars in losses in a short amount of time, if I am correct. And that likely prompts them to cover on their short positions. The entire short trade in Tesla has been short Tesla because Tesla is becoming less and less profitable. If that can change, and the expectation is Tesla is going to focus more on profitability. We're not going to get any more price cuts. Uh, yeah, that is uh, a recipe for disaster for the short sellers. You have 102.64 million shares that are also sold short. And that is at the highest point. And let's see, I believe the last 12 months as well. No, you got to go back further than 12 months ago to be uh to have more shares sold short let's see 18 months ago no this is the highest amount of shares that have been sold short in tesla the highest short interest in tesla stock in over 18 months <laughs> yeah you are uh set up in a very favorable way for the bulls heading into the fifth earnings where everyone's expecting tesla stock's going to sell off another 10%. That's that that's like that becomes ingrained in people's minds. They just, you know, buy puts on Tesla. Buy puts on Tesla for earnings. I don't think that's going to work this time. And if I am correct and Tesla is going to focus more on profitability and they say that in a clear concise way the markets can understand at the same time maybe throwing out some hints of when the robo taxi network could be launched, I think you're looking at exponentially higher uh, prices for Tesla stock from here. Really, the first level I would target is about 220, 220, and Tesla is currently at 175 dollars per share, and that's why I say I really don't want this to happen. So keep in mind, I'm I'm hoping I'm wrong here because I want to be able to buy Tesla at 150, at 140, 130. But the way you're set up and the way it sounds, I don't think we're going to get that opportunity. Could I be wrong? Obviously. Tesla could come out and say they're going to cut prices the day after earnings. Who knows, right? Elon's a very unpredictable person. But the first level I would target is about 220. I think that's where Tesla stock would ultimately go in a relatively short amount of time. Give it a week or so. If you actually start to get a short squeeze that does start to play out, I think Wall Street could start to justify Tesla stock back in the 300s if Tesla's going to focus more on profitability. If this is... The meta-like turnaround, um, you know, to focus more on profitability instead of just growth, 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 spending at all cost. If Tesla shows some discipline here. I think Tesla could go above 300 over the next three to four months, um, really closer to about two to three months um, if you actually get a short squeeze and shorts starting to cover on short positions because these earnings catalysts are, are or can get crazy as well because typically if you get shorts covering you're also going to have good news you're also going to have retail investors likely chasing the rally a lot of retail has sold a lot of retail has sold tesla in recent times if they see tesla go up 20 percent on earnings 10 percent on 10 percent on earnings yeah there's going to be a lot of fomo in tesla quickly and again just consider tesla is down you know, almost 30% to start 2024. So even if Tesla goes up 10%, you're still buying Tesla at a big discount compared to where it was trading in 2023. So I think for all of those reasons, um, I'm forced to be bullish on Tesla's upcoming earnings. Obviously, delivery numbers, they're not going to look great. I don't think 
the Tesla team is going to focus on that anymore. I don't think they're going to care about that. Um, anything else that we get likely an upside surprise again the biggest negative catalyst that we could get is if elon and the tesla team say yeah we may cut prices again then that just shatters everything i said in this video and uh tesla stock will likely sell off another 10 percent. but that seems unlikely again given tesla is raising prices on april 1st my birthday so yeah, let me know what you think about this information down below in the comment section. Where do you think Tesla stock is going next following these two big catalysts, delivery numbers, as well as earnings coming here over the next couple of weeks? Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. If you guys want to come trade with us live in real time, check out that link down below in the description of this video. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your weekends, and I will see you in the next one.